In a previous video, we demonstrated how to create line, surface, and volume plots. In this tutorial, we'll show how to create an arrow plot in Comsol Multiphysics. Arrow plots serve as a powerful tool for visualizing field distributions and simulation results. They are used to visualize a vector quantity in a 3D volume through an arrow volume plot, on a surface through an arrow surface plot, or on a line using an arrow line plot. And this is useful for many applications such as fluid flow velocities, magnetic fields, chemical species transport, or temperature gradients. Here you can see we've opened up the heat sink model again that we saw in the previous video. This model is a heat sink sitting inside a box that represents an air domain where air flows between the pillars and cools off the heat sink. And the arrow plot we see here really shows the fluid flow of the air coming through the air domain and across the heat sink. And I'm going to expand the plot group that the arrow plot is under. I'm going to delete it and we'll start from scratch to recreate it. So now we'll recreate the arrow plot and we can add this plot in two ways, either through the top of the console desktop at the results tab or through the plot group node itself. So I'm going to go to the temperature HT plot tab and I'll select arrow volume and this will add an arrow volume into the temperature HT plot. So since this is a volume plot, we are plotting in three dimensions, but an arrow surface will plot on surfaces or boundaries, an arrow line will plot on edges. And now we'll adjust the settings for the plot. So I'll leave the data set to be taken from the parent node or the plot group node of the temperature HT plot. And then under the expression, this is where we choose the quantity to plot. So I'll change this by clicking the replace expression button and I'll go under laminar flow where I will select the velocity field and I'll click plot. And now we have arrows showing the velocity of the air flowing across the heat sink. And this is useful, but it's using the same color as the temperature plot. So the arrows are harder to see and the air domain contains several layers of arrows on top of each other, making it less clear to see what's happening. So let's adjust the spacing and position of arrows. We do this under the arrow positioning tab in the settings. And I will change the X grid points the number of points to 20. I'll change the number of Y grid points to 20. And under the Z grid points, I'm gonna change the entry method to coordinates. And if I open up the parameters node under global definitions, I can see that the height of the heat sink air domain is 1.5 centimeters. So I'll go back to my arrow volume settings and I'll enter the parameter for the channel height divided by two for the Z coordinate. And if I plot this, now we have just one layer of arrows along an XY plane. And if I click the XY view in the graphics toolbar, we can clearly see the way that the arrows indicate the flow coming across the heat sink. Now let's change the arrow color so that it contrasts with the surface one plot over here in the temperature node. So under the coloring and style settings for the arrow plot, Let's change the color to magenta. And under the scale factor, we can also change the size of the arrows. So this will control length and height for me. And under the arrow type, we can choose arrows or cones. We have several different options for how to set the arrow length. And the length of the arrows represents the magnitude of the flow velocity. So shorter arrows indicate slower flow and longer arrows indicate faster flow. And then in the arrow base settings, we can adjust whether the head or the tail is the base of the arrow. And so far we've chosen just one color for this arrow plot, but we can also make it a color that's proportional to an expression. So the velocity magnitude. So I'll create a color expression plot, which I add directly into the arrow volume. And I can also add this through the ribbon up at the top of the desktop. And in this case, I'll replace the expression with the velocity magnitude, which is spf.u. And that will give me a clear visual as to where the flow is fastest and slowest, not just by the length of the arrows, but also by their color scheme and the accompanying legend. And that completes our arrow plot. We've reviewed and demonstrated adjustments to several of the settings within the arrow volume. We also showed how to apply a color expression to further enhance the display of flow field distributions. 
And the next video in this series will cover how to create and effectively use slice plots in COMSOL multiphysics.